Diego is having a bake sale that is involving either cupcakes or sorry, brownies or cookies being sold. And in the quantities that he's made these different dessert items, he wants to bag them up and with no leftovers. So in order for him to know how many of each item can go in, in bags without any missing pieces or extras, he really has to break it down to the factors. What are numbers that are easily divisible by the quantity that he made so that he can figure out bag and brownie combinations or bag and cookie combinations. So to start with, we gotta figure out, well, what are number, number combinations or factor combinations that make 48 in the first place? So if we start brainstorming that, 48 is made up of 1 and 48. So we could say one, brown, one bag can contain 48 brownies. But the rule with multiplication is you can also multiply in the opposite order and still get the same answer. So instead of one bag, this time you can have 48 bags and each bag is going to contain one brownie. So it's the opposites, but it all still works out the same. So what else makes 48? 2 and 24. He can have two bags of 24 brownies or 24 bags of two brownies. A lot of people remember maybe this side of it where we start small and work bigger, but then they forget that you can flip it. So for each one of these set of factors, there's actually two answers of the bags then. So 3 and 16. So three bags, 16 brownies, or 16 bags, three brownies. Four and 12, four bags, 12 brownies, 12 bags, four brownies, and six by eight. So we have six and eight, eight and six. So these are all of the possible combinations of bags and brownies for Diego's bake sale. So we're gonna do the same thing with these 64 cookies. So what are our factors of 64? One and 64. So one bag with 64 cookies, 64 cookies, or 64 bags with one cookie, two and 32. So two and 32, or 32 and two, four and 16. And the last is 8 and 8, which just means we can only put 8 and 8 once. We can't obviously reverse that. So these seven uh, bag combinations would be your answers for the cookies. So if Diego wanted to make the ultimate goodie bake sale package, he wants to have brownies and cookies in a bag, he then needs to figure out what combinations of bags and quantities can he come up with that lets there be no extras or no bag gets short. So we have to go back to, in this case, we've already figured out our factors of 48 and 64. Now we have to find the common factors. That means these are numbers evenly divisible by both of these terms, which we can then make even bag quantities out of. So if we compare, they have a one in common, a two, a four, and eight, and 16. So these are the combinations of bags to goodies that we can make. So with one bag, we are able to have 48 brownies, 64 cookies. In two bags, we are able to have 24 brownies and 32 cookies. Uh, three was not, four would be 12 brownies and, uh, was that 16? 16 cookies. Then we have eight, which would be six brownies, eight cookies, and then 16 ha would have uh, three brownies and four cookies. So whenever you're trying to find out which ones you can share um, evenly, that's where, again, our common factors are gonna come into play. So these are the bag and brownie cookie combinations for Diego's bake sale.